It has been nearly two months since journalist Michael Hastings died in a fiery car crash in Los Angeles. This morning, we have exclusive information about eyewitness accounts of that crash and surveillance video has been released. Investigative journalist Kim Dvorak joins us now with the latest details in this ongoing investigation. You've been on this story now, for, it seems, for a couple of months, and we finally got an answer from the Los Angeles Police Department, didn't we? Yes, we did. The Los Angeles Police Department actually sent out an eight-page document denying virtually everything we requested except for the 911 text of seven callers who were woken up in the middle of the night or 4.20 in the morning and uh, r reported the, the explosion to the police department. If we can, let's show the surveillance video, I think, first because I think that, that is a new, unique look and describe yes. what we're seeing here, Kim. Okay, what we see is a car going across the screen. You're gonna see uh, three explosions at the very end. Now, um, there, if you slow, were to slow the tape down, you'd see about the 14 second mark, the car has a pre-explosion, it almost looks like, mm -hmm. and then you see the lights completely go out of the vehicle, then you see the car turn slightly right, and then after that, you see the three explosions, and one's the horizontal. The first one is most likely a normal mm -hmm. explosion, but what, um, Investigators have told me through discussions and looking at the video and over and over and over said the second and third in explosions aren't indicative of a normal car acci accident. So that in essence we have more questions. You know, it seems like the story, this is where we go, we get more questions. Let's now get a look at the 911 calls. We put the text. Now we didn't receive the audio of these 911 calls, but they yeah. did send uh, texts of a number of calls. Yes, they the did. We're still requesting the audio. Is that not correct? Yes, we are still requesting the audio. They refused to send that out, but um, if you want to care to read the... Yeah, here's call number one at 423, right, right when the accident was occurring. Caller reported an accident. The car exploded. Caller transferred to LA City Fire Department. By the way, all of these 911 calls released to you by Charlie Beck, the yes. uh, chief of police. Yeah. At LAPD. Is that Correct. significant in any way? Um, my sources are telling me that it may be significant in one way um, because they bring up federal law again and again and again, and it may be something the LAPD is poking the, you know, the eye of federal government agencies that mm -hmm. should be taking over or maybe have taken over investigation, and that's why they refuse to release the information. In all three of these calls, the word explosion, giant explosion, explosion, we see, and that is obviously seen in the surveillance video. Why yeah. is that important? It, it's important because this is something that woke seven different people up mm -hmm. at 420 in the in the morning. It's important because cars just don't blow up. And you know, we're, every time we go out and we try to get information like we do with the LAPD, we get more stonewalling and more questions out of this. Now, you know, I've spoke to so many different people. We've had tens of thousands of people respond to the story here on San Diego 6. And, you know, we continue to work on the story. It's a developing story mm -hmm. still, mm -hmm. and we're not going to stop. In fact, you have, you're going to submit FOIA requests, or you yes. already have, to um, the federal yes. authorities? Yes. We're, we're, we will be working with Judicial Watch here. It's a Washington-based group that's helping us out because they find this very odd. They want the answers to this as well. And we're going to go after the uh, Department of Justice, Eric Holder. We'll be going after CIA, DOD, um, FBI, you name it, they're all going to be named. And we want, the, we want these questions answered. And if there was nothing to happen, nothing that was foul play here, as the LAPD said from the get-go, no foul play was involved, let, let the journalist have, a, have the report. Let us read what was going on. It's the quickest way to make this all go away. And for some reason, nobody wants this to go away. And here we go. All right, Kim Dvorak. Investigative journalist, thank you for joining us this morning and sharing this exclusive information. Uh, one more, one more thing. One more quick thing is, yeah. um, be sure to check the website out after the broadcast, and Our we web, will San Diego Six. San Diego com. Six, and we will have a story mm. with the video links and the emails um, full text on okay. there. All seven of the nine one one texts of the nine one calls. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. All right.